I think one of the most important things to realize about Lincoln High School's culture is that it's a culture of high expectations. The teachers have high expectations for themselves, the students have high expectations for themselves, and we have high expectations you know, from, from the community that we want to live up to. We want to do our best every day to make a difference for each child that comes through the door. I think what makes the relationship special with my students is that I'm continually trying to push them to achieve um, the most that they can. I think in turn they push me to be a better teacher and try to um, really delve into the concepts that we're learning at all times. I think the best thing about Lincoln High School is we offer multiple pathways for kids. If kids want to go to a four-year school, we'll prepare them exceptionally well. If they want to go to a technical school, we'll prepare them exceptionally well. If they want to go to the military or the workforce, we'll prepare them exceptionally well. One of our core values and beliefs is that we want to get kids ready for college and careers. We put a lot of emphasis on not just the content and things that students should learn, but make sure that when they leave these halls, whether they go to college or the world of work, that they can put those skills into practice and with practical application. There's no better example of that for the English department than the broadcast studio, uh, which I'm sitting in now, where students take the skills they learn in journalism and they go and they do. They don't just repeat it, they don't just take a test, they go out and they create arts and journalism like the one you're watching now. My students are going to have to write a narrative procedure essay and what I do is I break it down the parts so that they know how to write an opening paragraph correctly, a little bit of body, how it flows, and a closing paragraph. So this is where we are right now. So yes, it's automotive, but we're going to teach a little bit of writing. And then by next week, we'll be done with this part and we'll start into uh, shop seat. Mr. Grant's class builds such as the pieces here, and then our students come up with a design and paint. And that artwork is auctioned off, and the money goes directly to the Tomorrow Fund. And that money um, really impacts students in our own community that have families or relatives that have been affected by childhood cancer. Our students make a difference every day with the work they do in their classes. They talk about issues not only at Lincoln High, but they work on issues facing the world. They learn about how to be global citizens, they learn about how to make a difference in their own communities, and how to make a difference in the world. Our community service requirement is uh, very old and established. We were the first high school in the state to establish a community service requirement in order to graduate. We take our civic expectations very seriously. My daughter loves her freshman year at Lincoln High School. Kazmira is so happy that she's able to take elective classes that she wasn't able to take in middle school. Intro to Journalism is one of her favorite classes. Ceramics is another big one that she loves. Students love VHS here at Lincoln High School because it gives them a chance to explore electives that we don't have in our own course catalog. Everything from computer programming to music composition and theory to in-depth philosophy and literature courses. And the bonus, they get to spend time with me in the library. Um, we come up with uh, neat ideas for halftime shows, uh, we prepare for parades, and then we get into the holiday concert. So we do so many different things uh, as far as the band program goes um, that it's really not comparable to a regular academic classroom, but that's kind of what makes it fun. And uh, I think uh, eighth graders coming up that are going to join that program will really, uh, really have a lot of enjoyment out of it. And it's, uh, it's a different experience. It's pretty neat. Having worked in a couple of different school systems, one of the things that impresses me about Lincoln is the way students support each other, students for the most part respect each other, and, and working alongside the, the, the faculty, the staff, and the administration, we've created an environment here where I think students feel safe to, to take chances in their learning, and I think it's shown in, in the academic success we've had in, in the you know, SAT and AP world. 
Our students attend the best colleges in the country, but I think the most important thing to remember is we work really hard to get kids into the right college for them. We get kids into technical schools, into Ivy League schools, into the military, into the armed forces, into the service academies, sometimes into the workplace. But really, we're really focused on getting the best college for you. As far as athletics is our state-of-the-art uh, turf field that we have going that's in and uh, the new track that will be put in in the spring. Uh, we have some of the top teams in all of our uh, sports, different divisions in, uh, in the state and we're one of only uh, three public schools to have a full uh, training staff with, uh, with a medical suite. So. That's what makes us special. I'm a senior at Lincoln High School. Uh, I play football and lacrosse. Football really means a lot to me. You know, I've been playing for about six or seven years. Uh, I hope to play in college. It's really just great to be around the whole team, especially in school. If you're uh, coming in as a freshman, your fall sport starts before school does for you. You meet people before school starts. And that's a big thing about like the field hockey team or the soccer team. When you try out in August, you then become part of a team, you become a part of a family, you meet people in 12th grade, you meet people in 9th grade, and you learn about different people, you learn how to play a sport, you le learn what it means to work together. And I feel like at the end of the day, that's the best atmosphere to go to because we're really close and our coaches push us to be better people in the community and they teach us to be good role models when we go volunteering places. So we go up against the best competition in the state and if you're looking to play at a collegiate level it's a great program to get involved in and personally I think it's the most fun that you're going to have in a baseball program in the state. Um, and it's Running is a sport that's about goals and about you but your team motivates you to meet those goals and that's really useful in school as well. The cross country team, it's like a family. They do activities outside of school together as well as volunteer work, which I think is great for the community. And you definitely meet a lot of people and you get to know them and uh, you bond over something that can be so grueling and tough. So there's been a lot of challenges, but those challenges have helped to make me a better person and a better student. You know, as a freshman, I didn't really understand how important it would be to have these relationships with teachers, but now that I'm graduating, I know that teachers are a little bit more than your teachers here. They are honestly friends, and they're someone that you can always rely on to go to, and it's really important for students to have a special relationship with at least one or two teachers, so that way you always have someone to go to. It's okay to be scared coming in as a freshman, but your priorities are going to change. Like, freshman year, you're going to want to be social and explore the school, figure out everything, you're going to be stressed, whatever. By the time you're a junior, you're going to be focusing on your grades and schoolwork and trying to get into colleges and SATs and everything. You're going to be a totally different person and it's all because of the way that the teachers and faculty and peers, everyone shapes you throughout your time here at Lincoln. Here at the high school, teaching physical education and health um, gives me an opportunity as a teacher um, that is unique because I can see multiple uh, students in the four years. I can have the same kid in class over and over again, so that makes it really fun and you get to know each student really well. If you can step outside of the classroom and outside of your content area and just get to know the kids and know what makes them happy, what makes them stressed, uh, what they like about school, what they don't like about school, it's a big part of the job. It's probably 50-50, 50% teaching the content and 50% getting to develop that relationship with the kids. It was our last trip and we had gotten back from, I believe it was Stowe, and every single kid who walked past me gave me a hug and thanked me for running the club for them. And that was really, really special. You get to see them grow and mature a little bit between grades 10 and grades 12. I, I've coached so many students and I've seen them now get married and I'm friendly with them outside of school. The quality of education that my daughter gets here at Lincoln High School is phenomenal. I'm happy, she's happy, she's challenged, and that's what I wanted. I'm, there's no other place that I would want her. Lincoln High School is a great fit for her. Uh, if you're looking for a place where students can come and get the skills they need to thrive in the rest of their lives, Lincoln High School is the place for that. We know we're doing a good job when kids come back and say they're well prepared. 
whether that's in college or in a career, or in a technical school or the military, when we've prepared our kids well for their next step, we know we've done our job. Good day.